Jerry Jones has confirmed that Leighton Van Der Esch is out for the season. And this is massive news coming out here. Uh, let's talk about this. You know, I think the Dallas Cowboys defense is one of the best defenses in the NFL. But I was actually expecting Van Der Esch to come back healthy, come back, you know, not playing, you know, four or five games this season. And, you know, possibly coming back, you know, maybe week 12 against the Seahawks and possibly giving a spark to this defense to possibly get them over the top. You know, not saying this defense is a bad defense, but we do know that at the end of the day, uh, you know, t- good offenses are going to score points. And it's going to, it's going to be those, those good defenses or those good defensive players are going to make those key plays in the key moments. And Van Der Esch is a guy who's very smart. He's very intelligent. And I know on a play by play basis, he may not be the greatest linebacker in the, in the NFL. He's slowed down a little bit. We kind of know that, but the guy's still smart as hell. You know, if it's fourth and one, he's the type of guy that's able to jump a gap and blow the play up, right? To me, Van Der Esch is still one of those guys that still has it in terms of the mental processing and those type of things, but he is now done for this season. Some people are talking about, you know, this is the end of his career, possibly. Uh, I, I don't agree with that. I don't think Van Der Esch is 100% done. I think he'll bounce back, and I think he will be back in the NFL. Now, will it be with the Dallas Cowboys? That's a different question. If you guys look at his contract, uh, he does technically have another year with the Cowboys if the Cowboys ultimately wanted him back. Keeping in mind, he's only 27 years old today, right? So the guy's, you know, by no means the oldest linebacker in, in the NFL. Um, but, you know, there is still that injury issue and the fact that he hasn't been able to stay healthy. But if the Cowboys do choose to bring him back next season, you know, you can have him at a, at a fairly cheap cost, right? It's not a whole lot of money. It's only $4.7 million. So, to me, you know, you keep him at 4.7 or you cut him and you lose 2.2, right? What are you saving? You know, the $2.5 million is not a whole lot of money, but we'll see what the Cowboys ultimately choose to do. By no means do I think Van Der Esch's career is over. And at the same time, I don't even know if the Cowboys are 100% done with Van Der Esch. But I do want to talk about something. Um, you know, I don't think a lot of people realize this. Since Van Der Esch has went down against the 49ers, the Cowboys defense has shifted a little bit. It's, it's changed, right? It's not the same defense the first five games that we've seen the last four games. Uh, the Cowboys are running way more dime personnel. That that means they have basically six defensive backs on the field. Um, and it's not surprising to me because you don't really have a true inside linebacker. And obviously the Cowboys went out and picked up Rashawn Evans a couple weeks back. And for the very first time he actually played against the Giants, he looked pretty good, right? Not great, but he looked pretty good. And we'll do a film review on him probably today or tomorrow. We'll kind of analyze what what is that I saw from him personally. But um, I think the Cowboys understand where their defense kind of is. And I think the Rashawn Evans signing kind of backs that up. So the Cowboys are playing a lot more dime. They're a lot faster. They're a lot quicker. They're a lot more explosive. But they do lack size a little bit, and not from the defensive line, but from the linebackers, right? They don't have guys that will run through a guard, run through the face of an offensive lineman and blow the play up in the backfield. They don't have that, right? Van Der Esch was that guy. Uh, De- DeMarvin Overshone could have been that guy. Damone Clark's not that guy, right? Damone Clark is fast. He's quick. He's a coverage style of linebacker. And the Cowboys are missing the Van Der Esch in the defense right now. So the Cowboys have played a lot more dime because of it, but they recognize that it could be a flaw, especially when you play the Eagles, uh, when you play a team like the Seahawks, when you play a team like the Dolphins that love to run the football. Although the Dolphins are a little bit different in, in their style of run, as opposed to like the Seahawks and Eagles who do a lot more power-based type of runs. Um, I think against the Eagles, one of the things that I noticed watching the tape is the Eagles going in empty formation a lot, uh, and they'll have one running back in. And, what that does is that stretches out the defense, and it basically means you have your offensive lineman against the defensive lineman and one linebacker. And if that one linebacker is a Marquise Bell, you know, Bell's a, a good linebacker in dime. He's a good linebacker. If you wanted to get big and put other linebackers around him, you know, he's fast, he's quick. But when you ISO him out as the only linebacker on the inside, he's not the best. He struggles to get off blocks a little bit. And that's not a knock, right? That's obviously a, a first-year guy playing linebacker or not a first year guy but a linebacker right Marquis Bell being a true linebacker is the first year he's really doing that so to me when you think about it in that aspect uh I think the Dallas Cowboys should be perfectly fine as they go forward because you do have Rashawn Evans 
you do have Damone Clark, you do have Marquise Bell, but I think the Cowboys just got to really think this one through. Um, it does suck that Leighton Vanderish is out for the season, but, you know, at this point, I wouldn't say that I 100% expected him back, but it would have been nice to possibly have him back. Um, Rashawn Evans this week against the Giants did play uh, a number of snaps. He's now played 28 snaps over the past couple of games. Damone Clark has been the linebacker to take the most snaps, which does make sense. Uh, and we'll see how this kind of, you know, shifts. I mean, does Rashawn Evans take more snaps than Damone Clark, or does Damone Clark keep taking those snaps? At the same time, from a personnel perspective, you know, what does Dan Quinn do as we go forward? Is he going to uh, rotate in, you know, maybe someone else at the linebacker position? Are we going to see more Damone Clark, maybe Rashawn Evans out snaps one of these guys? Because at the moment, uh, Marquise Bell over the past three games has taken the least amount of snaps. So I find that kind of interesting, but we'll see how things kind of go forward. Uh, let me know what you guys think with this news. I know it's massive news in itself that Leighton Mandarish is out for the year. I know some people are going to make the comments that, hey, it doesn't really matter. The guy's always hurt. The guy's never healthy. But uh, I'll be the first to tell you guys, I think having Mandarish healthy, having him playing does make a difference, right? The guy can still play, especially if it's like a limited amount of snaps. Right? If it's first and second downs, he can play. If it's run downs, he can play. Um, and I know the Cowboys have been very, very good against the run, but there's going to be teams that come here and, you know, not only can they stretch the, the field downfield, but they may be able to run the football as well, right? We're going to play the Dolphins here soon in a couple weeks. Uh, the Dolphins are one of those teams that and they love to run these these wide runs, right, wide zone runs. And at the same time, they'll hit you with these inside runs. And uh, at the same time, they'll run these run pass options and they'll hit you behind your defense. And, you know, these guys, the, this offense makes you think a whole lot. And I say the Dolphins because the Dolphins are a playoff team, right? The Giants are not a playoff team, uh, nor are the Commanders. Uh, the, you know, the Commanders, the Giants, those aren't playoff teams. Um, you know, the Chargers probably won't make the playoffs this year. That's not a very good team. The Jets aren't a playoff team, right? A lot of the teams the Cowboys have played aren't necessarily playoff teams, right? So I kind of want you guys to keep that in mind as we continue, right? We're going to play better teams. Or, and, and, and in the playoffs, that's when it really matters. That's when, you know, you really find out which guy's a baller and, and which guy's really not, right? Uh, and I'm not saying necessarily that any of the linebackers the Cowboys have aren't good. I think they're good players, but they're young players. They're inexperienced. And I think that's why you ultimately bring in a Rashawn Evans. And that's why I think a Leighton Mandarash is huge to, to, to possibly have healthy, right? So we'll see what ends up happening. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Leighton Mandarash is out for the remainder of the season. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. We did a Mozzie Smith video yesterday. We'll do a Rashawn Evans video a little bit later on today. So thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another video.